Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Todoist with Gmail. First thing we have to do, uh, we have to create ourselves an account at todoist.com if you already don't have one. And once we are here at Workspace, we want to go to the top right corner where our initials are. We click on the initials, like MK in my case, and uh, let's go to integrations. Next, we want to click on Discover Integrations and we want to write down Gmail like this. We click on Gmail and you simply just add it to Todoist. That's the one way how we can do that. Uh, the second way is through automate.io. I will leave the link in the descriptions underneath the video. Once we are here, we want to go to the top corner and click on Integrations and go to the see all categories on the bottom left side. Now we can uh, search from 200 and more apps, but let's go with uh, Todoist. Todoist. Todoist is already integrated uh, and now we have to pick the counterpart, which is Gmail, you see it here, but uh, you can also use the search engine. Uh, once we click on Gmail, uh, there are some popular integrations but if you won't be able to find the one that you need just keep scrolling down and you can create your own integration just remember on the left side uh, underneath the triggers uh, you should start with todoist not with the gmail so let's go with the first one and on the right side underneath the actions you should go with uh, gmail so also stick to the first one uh, all we have to do now uh, click try it now, we'll get redirected and uh, we, were, we will be asked uh, to log in to our automate.io account and we are a few clicks away from completing this task. Second way around is through zapier.com. Uh, we also need to create an account here and once we do that, we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a zap like this. Uh, as you can see, you can name your uh, Zap, but you don't have to. Uh, otherwise, it works quite the same like it works at automate.io. You just, uh, underneath the trigger, you write Todoist, trigger event, let's go with the first one, continue. Now we have to log into the account that we created. Continue, uh, set up a trigger. I created uh, the project just uh, you could see uh, as to do is tutorial and click continue. And now we can test the trigger or uh, straight jump to second action where we're gonna write down Gmail. We also let's keep the action event simple and the last thing is we have to uh, sign in to the Gmail. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.